Hello everyone. Today I wanted to share a new uh, idea that I mentioned in other videos uh, about uh, building the, the new uh, pallet extruder. So there is an issue when you have big, big prints. Um, so basically my printer is uh, very big. It's 1.2 meters by 800 centimeters so 1200 millimeters by 800 millimeters uh, because my prints are pretty big so and long in time so there is an issue that when you have these long prints uh, by the time you start to print uh, go all the way to some location and come back and come back to the point that you you started for next layer for example the time uh, has passed a lot and that uh, which means that the layer when you uh, get back to print the next layer the previous layer is cold uh, of course you want to uh, um, with fans you want to make that print cold to, you know to uh, dry fast uh, and then you pass the next print the problem is that uh, doing so uh, layer adhesion uh, becomes uh, an issue especially if you build functional parts where the layer needs to be uh, uh, the, you know the the point where the contact the contact between layers needs to be uh, uh, good enough to sustain uh, loads, okay. And one thing to uh, to increase that is that if the bottom layer is at a certain temperature, not not so close to melt, but at a certain temperature, so that when you pass through the next layer and and the, the, the material is pushed towards the layer below the mix for you know for a certain uh, uh, thickness let's say okay so you have one layer and then you pass with with the with the uh, with the extruder and you basically push a little bit down because is the, the layer below is is warm or hot not to the melting temperature and then you pass the next layer so, and then it, it gets you get uh, cold uh, with fans or whatever and so those two layers uh, where they touch uh, they are bonded together much better than if one layer is cold and, and you just pass the next layer on top of it. So how do I achieve that when the print is huge? So the idea is to use laser. So the idea is to uh, just before the, you, you extrude the next layer you heat the layer below with, with a laser. So these are 1.5 uh, watts layer and uh, lasers so 1500 millivolts um, and so they're used in the, uh, you know carving um, uh, tools so they're not very powerful but they're powerful enough to hit uh, to hit uh, the surface okay uh, so the idea, this is experimental, is to have these lasers, three of them, uh, and I'm going to explain why three, to uh, m not melt but heat to a degree close to the melting point. So let's say that I'm printing uh, carbon fiber with this guy temperature should be around 250 degrees Celsius so if I heat with with a laser the, 
the the layer below at 200 degrees let's say at 200 degrees and this I'm going to experiment it. Uh, you know I will do some benchmark and some pieces and then do some loading on them uh, let's say so I can heat up the bottom layer 200 and pass him back passing on top with the with the extruder at 250 where is the melting point of the the carbon fiber that I have um, I'm thinking that the two layer will bond together and then of course I will uh, cool, cool it uh, so I have these uh, holders for laser I don't know why this they don't fit uh, right away even if they are supposed to uh, so I will have three lasers why three lasers? because I have to I don't know be, right before the extruder you know uh, does its movement uh, uh, by the g-code I don't know where the location next location will be so to cover all, all locations, all movements, I will use what is called, uh, usually it's called, triangulation. So if you put the three laser in a triangle like that, you know, and point to a, like, let's say a circle where the laser can point, I will cover all direction of the extruder. So if the extruder goes here, I have covered by this, this two, and to the other sides, same idea. Okay. So imagine this guy is moving, and the lasers are pointing like this to to the to the location where the uh, nozzle touches the surface that is printed, and this will be mounted on the sides. So. Let's see if we can see like this. We will actually like this and will direct uh, somehow to the surface of the uh, to the surface of the printing object. So this will be right like that, and then there will be a third one right here, and this guy will be in the middle. That's what I call triangulation. So I will cover all directions that the extruder is, is, is going to move to. So that's an idea, an experiment that I want to do. And the reason is, again, because for structural parts, you want adhesion, adhesion, adhesion layer uh, to the maximum. You want to have the layers to be bonded together, uh, almost to be one piece. Um, so I saw some videos, uh, other people experimenting with this idea, and it, it makes sense from from uh, the point of view that you are making a structural part. If you're doing 3D printer for uh, you know whatever, you don't care. Uh, a decision by the three printer is, is good enough but if you want to do structural part uh, that's very important uh, of course it will be an experiment we'll see if everything works out I need to to fix this I don't know why this ship me this guy that don't fit by like maybe a quarter of a millimeter it's, it's I don't know, but anyway, this is easily fixable with the drill bit, and so basically this guy goes inside here, and then you can move up and down. This guy is movable. Uh, this one is to fix this guy in, and then this can rotate back and forth. So I just need to do a structure around the 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 extruder to fix this guys three of them and I will do it probably only on the uh, only on the carbon fiber extruder 
the support uh, extruder doesn't it's not needed. Uh, that's that's not the purpose of this. So if you have any questions about this idea, suggestions, doesn't make sense and it doesn't make sense at all <laughs> or something, uh, please leave a comment in the below. Uh, if you like the channel please put a like, uh, subscribe to the channel and share this video. Uh, we'll uh, it will help me a lot uh, and I'll see you on next video thank you very much, bye bye